We have nine finalists to reveal tonight. We'll do it in alphabetical order and start at U High with Harry Beecham. The UI Cubs have a long list of defensive standouts in their proud history, but none of them have made more tackles than linebacker Harry Beecham. Beecham racking up 432 stops during his career with the Cubs, including 134 his senior season. It's really meant everything from coming as a freshman, not really knowing what to expect, meeting all the guys, getting that camaraderie, and then playing under Coach Martin and Coach Landry for so long. I mean, they helped shaped me as a man, but also as a player. I, I can't thank them enough. Just an awesome kid. I mean, it's just so much fun. He's you know, like a sponge. He's always wanting to learn. Very coachable kid, but just outstanding in what he did and diagnosing plays and just seeing things. Just fun to watch, fun, fun to, to see what he can do in a game. Let my D-lineman work for me. Just reading all the gaps, clear cloudy. If it's open, hit it. Stay, gap responsibility, know what I'm supposed to do, but Above all else, just, just get to the ball. Once, once the running back's committed, I'm committed. Just get into the ball and get him on the ground. Yeah, see ball, get ball. Yes, sir. I helped him out in that defensive line, which I tell all the time. Those guys help you out, and, and he was able to get some help there by, by running free and just made the tackle every single time. So what I continue to see him in the last three years is his leadership. You know, he, he always made calls for us on the field and stuff like that, but you really started to see him step out and start helping teammates, kind of coaching up teammates. We had a couple guys get hurt at certain times, so we had to play with some younger players and linebacker, and you constantly saw him pulling that kid out and telling him what he needed to do, you know, and, and just making sure that, that everybody's staying to the standard that we want. And I think that says a lot for him and his character and just, you know, off the field, I, I can't say enough. I mean, there are no issues with him at all. I mean, everything is yes or no, sir. You know, what I need to do, and, and that just says so much about him. I've spent a lot of time in here, a lot of summer mornings, you know, all the way down at the music blast, and it had some good times in here, though. Despite all the violent collisions Beecham has been a part of, he stayed in the lineup and never missed a game. It's the most impressive thing about it. I mean, he, he played in every single game. I mean, he did not miss time uh, at all. I mean, I can remember maybe one or, one or two plays where he came off because he had banged his, his shoulder up and they went right back out there. Winning the state championship his sophomore year in Lafayette against E.D. White was a career highlight for Beecham. It was a 14-7 defensive game, which was right up his alley. Defensively, we, we had a rough first half. They were kind of running it down our throats. Then Coach Landry, halftime, gave us a little speech and changed the scheme a little bit that night. So we changed it at halftime, made a couple adjustments position-wise, and it really just worked, and that's what sucked up the most. It was an awesome game. If you, if you like defense, that was the game to be at, and he was all over the place. I mean, he had a ton of tackles that night and just did a great job. Playing defense alongside his twin brother, Patrick, who was a safety, was also a treat. It was awesome, you know. I can be rougher on him than some others, so like get on the field, he gets on me, I get on him, but you know, it's all love, we just brush it off. It makes the adjustments easier, I'd say, because I know who listen. You give up a touchdown, it's his fault, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the car ride back home. <laughs> I talk about it in the car ride. Both of them together, I mean, you talk about two really good kids and, uh, and just on the field, great players off the field, great, great in academics, great in just great people. The discipline and hard work will continue for Harry Beecham at the next level as he'll be playing for and attending the Naval Academy. He is exactly what I would want at the Naval Academy defending our nation. I mean, Harry's a guy that, that's very structured, very regimented, you know, does very well in school, 4-0 guy, um, understands time management, which is what you're going to have to do there, and understands the challenge and what, what's ahead of him. And he's, he's excited. He's embracing it and cannot wait for it.